welcome back. I have a tutorial for you. I have never in my life been asked so many times to do a tutorial on a look that I did. And I wore this look here in my BoxyCharm unboxing. I believe it was the August one a few weeks ago. People, you guys went wild. I mean, I got so many requests on the video, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Everybody was like, Sam, really, fork over the tutorial. So I just could not ignore you guys. I had to go ahead and do it. It took me a couple weeks, but here I am filming for you guys. So this is the look. It's bright. I don't know how bright. It's like it's metallic, it's pink, it's glittery, it's girly, and it's now live. So I did my right eye, eyebrows, and foundation to help save some time because those take forever. So what I did is I started with Painterly Paint Pot on my eye as a base, which I've already put on. Look at it, it's almost finished, almost finished. Okay, I'm going to start with this brush. This is a Hakuhodu BJ004G brush. It's just a little flat shadow brush. And I'm going to start with this color as a highlight. This is Blanc Type by MAC. And I put that underneath my eyebrow for my highlight. If you guys want to end with your highlight, you can feel free. It's just the way I do. Next, I'm going to move to this color here. This is Soft Brown by MAC. And this is a Sigma E40 brush. We're going to do a nice little wash of color in the crease. This is going to help our shadows blend and give it a nice transition shape. Now we're going to take some of this color. This is called Plum Dressing by MAC. And on the end of a MAC 217, we're going to pop that into the crease. A little bit in the outer V. We just want to make sure that that transition stays nice and transitioned. <laughs> the next step is the eyelid color. So. You can actually use two things. I'm going to show you what I use, but I'm going to show you an equal substitute for it as well. I use this Inglot pigment. This is pigment number 86. Let me show you what it looks like. It's a really beautiful kind of plummy pink with some gold undertones. You can also use Rose Pigment by MAC, but I just wanted... The, the Inglot pigment's a little bit more bold, so I went for the Inglot, but you, Rose is just as beautiful, and you can use that as well if you can't get a hold of the Inglot pigment. So what I do is I take the cap and I take a little bit of MAC Fix Plus and I do one little spritz in there. And then I take my brush that I want to apply the pigment and then I just kind of mix it up like that and make it nice and watery. Not watery, but you know, like pasty. And you're just going to paint that on your upper lid. I wanted that foily kind of look to it. Okay, you want to give that ample time to dry, so try not to look up too much. While that's kind of drying, you're going to, I, I took this, is the uh, NYX Glenn Slide On, Your Name Is Too Long Pencil, and this is in the color Jewel, and we're going to run that on the lower lash line. And then just take a pencil brush, this is a MAC 219, I think, the name is rubbed off, and just smudge it in. You want to bring it down a little bit past the, the lash line. And we're going to take a little bit of plum dressing eyeshadow again and we're going to smudge that in. Okay, we're just going to take a little bit more plum dressing now and we're just going to blend the edges of the shadow. Now we're going to move on to this color here and it's called a Deep Damson. Take a little bit of Deep Damson on that same MAC 217 and we're going to slowly work that into the crease. So you want to start in the outer V and you just kind of want to dab it and wiggle it. You don't want to go too ham on this color because it could really get out of control because it's kind of dark. So I just kind of slowly work it into the crease. And with the pencil brush I'm just going to take a little bit of Deep Damson. I'm going to run that on the outer corner. Just make the outer V kind of connect with that lower lid. Now I'm going to take this color here. It's like a nice peachy kind of coral color and it's called Free To Be. I just, I'm just taking a fluffy brush very, very lightly. We're going to put this right on the edge of where we just placed that other color, like barely touching the skin, just so it kind of adds that hint right on the edge. Then we're going to bring that color onto the lower lid. Now it's time for the glitter. 
All right, I'm gonna use my Lit Glitter Base, and I'm gonna use this absolutely stunning glitter, and this is my eye candy. It looks like that. This is about as far as I can tilt it without going crazy. And this is in the color, I don't know, because I didn't put a color on it. If I can find the color, I will let you guys know. If you guys don't have access to like an orange gold glitter, you can use this. This is the Milani Crystallize in Glamorously Glittering. If you guys have this, this will work too. Okay, we're gonna take uh, just a small little junky pen, uh, junky pen, junky brush. I'm gonna put a little bit of that glitter base right on the tip of my finger. And now I'm just going to place this, dot it, dab it, and the center of the lid, wherever you want the glitter. Quickly with that same finger, dip the tip of your finger in the glitter. Cover your face, and glitter time. I also like to take a dry finger and just kind of pat it, just to make sure all the glitter is on. And you take it away. Boom! Okay, I'm gonna put this towel back. <laughs> I'm gonna kind of blend a little bit, just to make sure the glitter didn't go up too high. Dab it. Now it's time for the liquid liner. I just did a nice dramatic wing. Um, I can't really do this on camera and have it look okay, so I'm gonna jump off camera and do the liquid liner real quick. So that's what the wing looks like. I just did a nice triangular kind of wing. Now, I don't really like doing the dip wing where it kind of dips and does it goes out. I like it when it kind of it kind of goes straight. I guess more of like an Egyptian kind of wing. I don't know. It works for my eye shape. I'm going to take my NARS black pen in Larger Than Life. It's Bienvenido. I don't know why I couldn't figure out the name of that pencil just now. And we're going to do some tight lining, which is actually really key for this. You want to keep the lashes nice and dark looking. So just go ahead and do your tight lining. So I'm going to take that same black pencil and I'm going to put some on the outer third of the lower lid. That helps kind of bring the darkness to the, the lower lid without overdoing it, you know? Now I'm just going to take a cotton bud, cotton q-tip, whatever, and just kind of smudge that out a little. I'm going to take a little bit of deep damson and run that right below the, the black. I'm also going to take a little bit of deep damson and I'm going to run that right here in the crease. Now it's time to load your lashes up with the darkest, blackest mascara you can find. I'm going to use this. This is the Urban, this is Urban Decay Perversion. I'm really liking it. The formula is a little more wet than I'd like, but it does the job and it is really, really black. So uh, if you need to curl your lashes, now is the time before obviously you put your mascara on. Okay, and for the bottom lashes, you guys know it, Clinique Bottom Lash in black. So you load those bottom lashes up, baby. Hi, Harley. Okay, I'm just gonna take a MAC 217 and I'm gonna sweep some more of the Free To Be, that peachy color right underneath Kind of make sure everything is nice and blended. Now we're going to put on lashes. Uh, today I used these. They're the Red Cherries 217. And I'm going to pop these lashes on. They look like this, all big and fluttery. And I will do that off camera because everybody knows how to apply lashes, right? Right? No, probably not. But it takes me too long to do it on camera. So I'm going to take my NARS Creamy Concealer in Vanilla. And we're going to do the under eye area. While I was just getting these products together for this part of the tutorial, there was a little drama on my Instagram. It was funny. I'm going to take this. This is the Sigma Soft Blend Concealer Brush. It's the F64. And I'm just going to blend that concealer in. Somebody had a problem with the fact that I always stick my tongue out in selfies. And they told me it was really gross that I should stop doing it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I actually went back through my pics and it was... 15 photos before that one that I last stuck my tongue out. I just, I don't know. I, I don't know why people are so full of drama. Like, if you don't like my picture on Instagram, why follow me at all, right? Does that even make sense? I'll never get it, people. I'm actually going to highlight my face a little bit with this as well. I'm going to put a little bit right here, a little down my nose, and a little bit on my chin. I'm going to put it everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> So now I'm going to take my Serenity and Scott Press Powder and my Inglot 4SS brush. 
we're going to set our under eye with that just like this now I'm going to take this as the Senna powder point brush it's kind of like just a normal tulip brush and I'm just going to lightly dust for contour I'm going to use my Sedona Lace FB05 and my NYX blush and taupe I'm going to go for my Serenity and Scott brush br blush brush looks like that instead no, the Sedona Lace brushes I have aren't soft at all. And it annoys me sometimes. So I really want a, a diffused contour. Not something like crazy. Oh, what do you guys think? I put all my earrings in, so I kind of look like metal ear. <laughs> I know, there's I have a ton of earrings. Like I never wear any of my earrings. And for my birthday, my mom sent me these pretty um, diamond studs. And I just, I was putting them in, and I just... I really felt like I wanted to put all my earrings in, you know? I'm going to use an expensive blush and a cheap brush. <laughs> this is my Dior blush in Happy Cherry and my e.l.f. Stipple blush. Brush, I'm going to put a little bit of that on the outer part of my cheeks. Now I'm going to take my fan brush, which is from the icing, and this Bobbi Brown brick in bronze, and I'm just going to take a little bit on my fan brush like this. And I just kind of do one of these little, little, little jiffers like that. So we're going to start with Peach Blossom. Looks like this. It's really great for a nude, but like a juicy nude, you know? So you see, Peach Blossom, it's, it's a beautiful nude, but it's got that peachy look. So it gives you that nice, healthy kind of lip, so... Sorry, my battery just died and I had to change it. So if the angle is a little closer or not as close as before, I'm sorry, but those things happen when you have to change batteries. Okay, so we finished putting on burgundy lip liner and we are going to now go into Absolute Power, which is this beautiful burgundy red. I have a couple of dupes, or kind of dupes for this lip color. This is the one I'm gonna use is Absolute Power. You can also use this. This is the NYX Butter Lipstick in Licorice. Kinda looks like that, that same pur purpley color. And I also have this Wet n Wild color in Black Orchid. Kinda, again, looks like the same color. So if you don't have Absolute Power by MAC, no worries, you can find plenty of lip colors that look just the same. Okay, so this is what Absolute Power looks like, that dark kind of burgundy red. I really love this color for fall, and I feel like this just makes this really nighttime. You can add a little dark brown to the outer V and make this whole look really dark and kind of, I don't know, you know, fall and sultry and sexy. I like it. I, I love dark lip colors. You guys absolutely know that about me by now. And now I'm going to show you the original lip color I used with this look. Okay, so I had to do a little work to mute out my lips after that other lip color stained them. So, for the nude lips, this is what I did. I took the Serenity and Scott lip liner in Bare, but any nude lip liner will do. Subculture by MAC, Nude by NYX, like they have a million of them. They're retractable and the regular brenzels. Any one will do. So you just line your lips. And for the lipstick, I went for Blankety by MAC, which is the perfect pinky kind of nude shade. You could absolutely leave it like this, but I was looking for a little bit of gloss, so I went for this. This is Buttercream by Gerard Cosmetics, or Whitening Lightning. Little, a little bit. My favorite lipstick with this look is definitely this one, that pinky kind of nude. I feel like the eyes are so dramatic that you just don't need a ton on your lips. And this one is my favorite. I really like this look. I think it's really wild. I actually wore this on my birthday as well. Thank you guys so much for all of the birthday wishes all over my Facebook, my Instagram, Twitter. You guys are amazing. Seriously. I love you guys. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Okay, so I'm really excited because this is this is like a shock. This is not a shock. This is like a surprise Mary box. So I got